Hello guys, in this video we'll be talking about high scoring strategies for USMLE Step 2 CK exams. I'm Dr. Apura Bopat, an incoming internal medicine resident at Marshfield Clinic, Wisconsin. And to just give my background information, I scored 261 on USMLE Step 1, I scored 259 on USMLE Step 2 and 247 on USMLE Step 3. Now I'll be just giving you very very high yield information. Ah, everybody is so used to of the word high yield so i'm just going to focus on high yield information which are crucial if you want to get high scores in your assembly step 2 examination so let's get started so we know the fact that step one is getting just pass and fail so it's very very important to get a competitive score on your USMLE step 2 ck exam and also your step 3 exam because these are the only two exam which has some objective data so it's the step 2 score as well as step 3 score these are the three digit objective scores where where you know a program director can differentiate two students objectively so now the burden of score is definitely is on USMLE step 2 and step 3 exams so student would pay more attention to get high scores on step 2 and step 3 it is getting competitive so now we'll start off by talking about one important hype which is running around the social media and all the channels is that USMLE step 2 CK exam is really vague okay everybody would come out of their exam hall and say oh my god the exam was so vague but let me tell you if your concepts and content strategies are strong enough you will never confuse yourself in two options if at all you confuse yourself in two options you will always have uh, a definitive explanation of why that other option is not so correct as compared to this option so everything bottles down to one important thing is how good your clinical knowledge and your clinical assessment skills are okay because that's what your clinical knowledge exam is you know testing you on even in a real life scenario what would you choose between two things that's what uh, you know exam is testing you so exam is not vague if you feel after the exam um, exam was vague that means somewhere or the other we you know missed the second pass of your world maybe some thorough second pass of the your world or maybe just you know good content or concepts okay so that's the bottom line so now let's talk about important q banks and how you should start your preparation for USMLE step 2 CK now in step 1 everybody is you know relied on physical textbooks or maybe some you know notes in notes for USMLE step 1 um, because the basic science knowledge is somewhat static so because there is an enzyme which converts you know phosphoenol pyruvate to pyruvate it is something which we know and it is going to remain fact forever for the life okay so that's why those physical books are very very important for step one because the information are not rapidly changing but for step two ck since it is a clinical knowledge um, the informations are rapidly changing like for example covid 19 was never given such importance but um, if it is some online q bank you can definitely update uh, those q banks so step two ck is going to transition from the, your physical world of notes to the digitalized okay so you make sure you come you know make yourself comfortable um while learning uh, through the digital media so because everything going to be you know most of the time digital be it up to date okay up to date is a is a very very nice research which i would recommend because i have not mentioned that in anywhere inside the powerpoint so i used up to date a lot i used to you know um, see echocardiogram see various ecgs and images from the up to date i really like that resource so if you are someone who is never exposed to up to date i would highly recommend and check this out this is going to be time consuming so but you can just focus on summary okay back to the business so if you talk about the q banks you u world step 2 ck is the most important q bank it almost covers 80 to 90 percent of the content please 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 do thoroughly at least one pass of the u world that is a must and if you are really aiming for a high score which everybody is aiming now second pass of u world is also very very important okay so one pass definitely needed second pass for if you are aiming a very very high score okay now after you are done with your all the u world if you ask me your next step in studying is emboss okay emboss is the second most important q bank some of the questions are really harder than the real uh, deal but you can do it after you are done with thorough first pass of the u world 
everybody also talks about doing u world step 3 q bank i would just you know regard this as a supplementary tool for someone who wants some edge or maybe if you are not scoring good enough and you want 10 15 points boost so you can just get some supplement supplementary edge by solving um, step 3 q bank so that's again a supplementary but this is going to be the cornerstone preparation cornerstone cornerstone that's all you need okay and uh, Finally, um, USMLE RX, some people do trust USMLE RX and find them very, very useful and have managed to score very, very high. But the questions are like a little easier than the real deal, but it can help you getting comfortable with all those new concepts which you are learning. Kaplan, low yield, um, Lecture is an emerging new Q, Q bank, might be promising in future. All right, uh, if there are more data points. So for the takeaway point for this, this you know, entire entire you know ppt is going to be your usmle uh your world step to ck q bank so again i'm going to hammer that's a gold standard uh, while you're solving your UWorld question there'll be all the bold words bold words bold words okay don't ignore those bold words like they'll write somebody is you know having conjunctivitis okay and then they'll write you know um, you know after that somebody's having lymphadenopathy and after that somebody's having some kidney involvement and somebody's having jaundice okay those are all bold words they'll write okay and they'll ask you the most important maybe you know reservoir for this is is probably you know animal urine because the rodent's urine is the way by which you know transmits and the answer is leptospira okay so play, pay attention to all those bold words um, it definitely depends on your basics of your step one as well um, so pay attention to those bold words and write high yield one or two liner notes okay make your concise notes and it should be concise okay now thank me later if you have made one or two nine or three liners concise notes for your entire entire usmle step two preparation thank me after you are done with your exams because if you make a comprehensive step to ck notes in the end you are just going to have a bhagavad gita or bible or maybe quran okay and it's very very difficult to revise all your even your notes in the end okay so make very very concise notes two to three lines and in the end you'll have bunch of four thousand lines okay um, multiplied by two to three whatever line you mix so those will be extremely high yield be very very choosy in making those high yield notes and pay attention to bold words please do twice if possible you world twice if possible all right so if you ask me to choose between you world and emboss so after mastering you world you, your best next step in management for your year summary study is emboss okay don't let the tough question break your confidence just do it put a five hammer on your head and just move on okay emboss library is a very very good piece of you know art which they have made there is all the good information presented in an organized way so emboss library library i would recommend um, and i would consider that as gold standard as far as the quality safety ethics and communications are concerned i would practice biostats from emboss okay biostats uh, from all the usmle step one two and three okay so biostats quality safety ethics communication emboss for that okay supplementary tool and you can also use that as a main learning tool for all those topics which i have listed they have a really nice articles on those okay there are some cms forms i solved majority of the cms form which i had um, you know but the only thing which i learned from the cms form is to be simple and um, i wouldn't say that you know you wouldn't regret if you don't do cms form after your exam so the and i'm just you know telling you what i learned so you can just you know just get an idea what cms form is going to teach you it's just going to teach you to be simple now to be simple in the sense after solving like you know a bunch of 1200 1500 questions i learned to be simple and you know what simplicity means that okay what's your next step in management and they would just without doing extraordinary things would expect you to choose iv fluids without doing extraordinary thing please just intubate the patient okay so that amount of simplicity the best you know very very important best next step in management is you know that so be simplistic in choosing answer so that's what you know cms form will be uh, will be teaching you and in real life also you will face some questions where uh, your assembly wants you to choose the simple best answer don't run your overthinker mind run around and choose something which is extraordinary oh just do organ donation okay nobody does that at, at this stage but you know just to be simple 
all right divine intervention podcast oh my god i love this guy and it saved my second pass of the year world i didn't i didn't have literally time to you know do the second pass of the year world um so i listened to all the divine intervention podcast so it saved my second pass of the year world and they were you know i really like the way he puts on the question and then later on answers i can thank him him enough for my preparation so i really like them you can use this excel sheet to you know get a track of what podcast you listened and what all are remaining so i really liked him so you just you can check out his reddit post and you can also check out his you know website to you know get things going so that's your divine intervention podcast which assessments to be given i gave uwsa1 i gave uwsa2 sa1 was little over predictive for me like for example if i scored 259 on step 2 i you know uh got 264 on sa1 and i got dot 259 or my sa2 so according to the data and even my scores sa2 was the most predictive so any score uh, i would say if it is 250 plus and if even if you are you know aiming 260s that's okay uh, any any score 250 250 plus it's you know good spot to give off your exams and you know perform well nbme 6 is little over predictive 7 is under predictive and the next best exam to be little near predictive is nbme 8 um so that's after you know sa2 so sf sa2 and nbme 8 are are kind of predictive exams but these days you know mboss uh, is also running some step 2 ck simulation exams uh, not simulation but maybe 4 hour exam 4 blocks exam and you may also get 3 digit score for that here are some important topics which i would recommend you to read and make separate notes if possible screenings okay they really want you to know all the screening modalities okay you'll lose uh, you'll use you know um low dose ct scan or maybe you know mammography and pap smear exact ages and exact cut off and exact criteria how much did they smoke and what was their history and you should know what is your best screening modality so that's very very important vaccinations are very very important again with the age at if what if the age is dot 65 will you give pneumococcal vaccine or no okay what are some of the contraindication what are some of the newer vaccination like mrna vaccine of vaccine of of covid 19 okay so make sure you know all the vaccine dot age dot contraindication dot indication okay every important thing for vaccination If you look at the management of the U world, um, U world uh, management flow charts are kind of very very detailed. Okay, so don't like um, like dive into so much of detail which U world teaches you about the full flow chart. Like for example, if somebody is having abdominal trauma and if they ask you to do fast scan, fast scan, like know the big picture. What if the fast scan do like show us? What if the fast scan show this? Okay. so know the big picture of of what fast scan is showing you know the big picture of the table rather than you know focusing on nuts and the bolts don't focus uh, i mean don't uh, like focus so much on nuts and bolts that you just forget looking at the ship so look at the big picture of your world uh, sometimes in the questions in um, in the questions and the options you will also come across the option that do nothing okay do nothing just sit i mean do click do nothing okay so that a uh, maybe or may not be the correct correct option so if at all you get do nothing options okay in in whatever question you are practicing in uh, do consider that do give a thought that really like will i do anything uh, is it just supportive care or maybe just you know some viral or maybe just anything okay so pay attention to do nothing give a thought is vaccination really required is intervention really required give a thought okay and then choose intervention because sometimes doing nothing may be a better option all right so i think that's it about your high scoring um strategies for a usmle step 2 i wish you all the best and i know how long this journey is i know how how much you have to put in or you you have already put in but there's still a lot to go uh, until until you match so give time to the time time will definitely change okay just give your best and and preparation for step 2 ck is very very crucial because this will give you an edge uh, in your residency as well okay so if you have any questions you can just you know also uh, dm me on my instagram so that's dr 
apurva underscore popart so you can search me there and you can also dm me and you can also check out my youtube channel and i thank match resident for giving me an opportunity to make this high scoring usmly step to ck video so thank you everyone from the match resident team and I, I i highly recommend to check some of the services of match resident because they really helped me while i matched into internal medicine program so thank you so much take care everyone bye, -bye.